them and go back and shape them. What do you think about them? How do you see them now? Well, I guess, you know, now I just probably see them as being, you know, quite thick and chunky and wide and very flat compared to modern boards. But for the time, they were quite advanced. I always felt like I had an advantage in a lot of the events because um, when I first bought the twin fin back, a lot of the guys that I was competing against in small surf were riding single fins. And, you know, I had this board with two fins that had a hard edge, it had a hook in the wing, you know, a lot of curve in it, a lot of nose lift. It was just free and loose and fast and easy to ride in small waves. And a lot of the events I actually rocked up to, you know, when I walked into water in a man-on-man -man situation, you know, up against a guy on a single fin and three-foot surf. And you're <laughs> laughing. I'm just like, oh, these guys don't know This guy's handing, handing it to me on a platter here. Yeah. But, Wait, it's nice to hear you say that now because you were so reticent back then. You were so, I don't want to use the word humble, but you didn't really... You know, you didn't really, you know, run your flag up the flagpole all the time. It's nice to hear now that you actually felt that way, that you had a real advantage. Well, I think you've got to be really careful as a competitor, Sam. You don't want to run the flag up too high. Yeah. Because the moment you run the flag up and you start skiting about something, then the other guys want to beat you. Like, yeah. you never give them a target. So you try and play down the whole thing with, you know, oh, geez, I'm not surfing very good, you know. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do any good in this event. My dad you know? ran me to this crappy trim. Yeah. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I guess it's... Out, trying to outsight the other guy before you actually even get in the water. But the thing I wanted to say about the retro thing, I think it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened to surfing because I think the problem for a long time was that we were too influenced by what the guys on the Pro Tour were surfing. You know, the rounded square, 6'1", 6'2", yeah. 18 inches wide, two and a quarter, single or double concaves. And if you're a, a fit young guy or if you're a, you know, a world-class surfer, yeah. you can surf those boards and you can do incredible stuff on it. But the average guy who goes surfing doesn't have the body shape or the ability of those surfers. So for him it was a struggle. Like you'd see all these, you know, big guys, average surfers, out on these, you know, paper thin boards in two foot surf trying to make them go and they wouldn't go. So the, the beautiful thing now is that you can walk down the beach with anything and you don't get laughed at. It's actually <laughs> to a certain extent it's They cool. still wonder they still worry about getting